As part of a major modernization effort, the U.S. Air Force is set to retire its Abe 10 Thunderbolt II aircraft stationed in South Korea by the end of fiscal year 2025. This change is aligned with a broader defense enhancement program in the Indo-Pacific, which aims to bolster deterrence capabilities and strengthen the U.S.-South Korea Security Alliance. The Abe 10 Thunderbolt II, known for its close air support role, will gradually be replaced with upgraded fourth-generation fighters and advanced fifth-generation aircraft. These new additions will include F-16 Fighting Falcons, F-35 Lightning Tus, and F-15 EX Eagle Tus, which will enhance air superiority and improve interoperability with the Republic of Korea Air Force. The phased withdrawal of the 24A-10s will begin in January 2025, with a transition expected to conclude by the end of the fiscal year. This strategic shift is part of the U.S. Air Force's broader efforts to improve its aerial combat readiness in response to growing regional threats. By replacing the A-10s with more versatile and technologically advanced aircraft, the Air Force is enhancing its ability to counter a wide range of threats while maintaining stability on the Korean Peninsula. Alongside the arrival of new aircraft, the F-16 Fighting Falcon fleet is undergoing avionics upgrades. These upgrades will increase the F-16 survivability, precision, and responsiveness, narrowing the technological gap between fourth and fifth generation aircraft. The newly enhanced F-16s, along with the F-35 and F-15EX, will provide a more formidable force capable of meeting the evolving challenges in the region. Lt. Gen. David Iverson, commander of the 7th Air Force and deputy commander of U.S. Forces Korea, highlighted the significance of these advancements in strengthening air combat capabilities. With the deployment of upgraded F-16s, alongside our F-35 and F-15EX aircraft, we are significantly strengthening air combat capabilities in the Korean theater, Iverson said. These aircraft offer multi-role versatility, extended operational range, and stealth capabilities, allowing us to effectively counter modern threats. The F-35 stealth and detection capabilities will improve situational awareness and strike precision, while the F-15EX's advanced avionics and payload capacity will optimize effectiveness in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground combat. This modernization effort reflects the U.S. Air Force's commitment to maintaining a robust and adaptable force in the Indo-Pacific, ensuring that it can deter adversaries and reassure allies through technological superiority. As the transition progresses, it will reaffirm the U.S. Air Force's dedication to regional stability. By upgrading its fleet with cutting-edge aircraft, the U.S. is reinforcing its commitment to a strong and secure defense posture in South Korea, supporting the long-standing alliance between the two nations. This modernization ensures that the U.S. can continue to deliver unmatched combat air power, safeguarding peace and security in the Indo-Pacific region. With this strategic upgrade, the U.S. Air Force is ready to face the challenges of the future, providing a flexible and powerful response to emerging threats while strengthening peace and stability on the Korean Peninsula. Thank you.